What is going on boys and girls, Anatoly from Define Agile here and today I'm answering your questions. Some people ask me, what if I need to have story points for my tasks and bugs, how can I do that? First of all, I want to say that this is not a good idea, usually story points relate to business values, so stories should have story points, tasks and bugs ideally should not have story points because they should not bring business value, but Stuff happens if you want to have your story points, your tax and bugs, even though I don't recommend it. I will show you how to do that and it will also help you to understand how to add any custom fields to your Jira. Does that make sense? Uh, let's, try, let's jump right into it. So first of all, uh, let's see, I want to show you that I don't have any story points available. If I do configure fields, there are no story points here, so this is how you configure fields, but it's not working, there are no story points in here. So I'm gonna just add them, okay? So first of all, we need to go to Jira. Then we go to a Jira settings. Then we go to issues. And then we go to custom fields. So first of all, we want to make sure that story points are available for uh, an issue type, for example. So we have a type here. This is the actual field, this is our type, and it's applicable context, available context. This is what we care about. So we can see that approvers is global for all the issues, but things like epic color can be only for epic, which makes a little sense. So what we need to do here is to find the field we want to change. For example, story points, it's a number field, and issue types is only stories. If you want to change that, we go to uh, configure here, and then we say edit configuration under applicable context for scheme. We click edit configuration, and here we can see that it's only story. So if we want to change it to any issues, we just click any issue, and we can have it globally for all issues in Jira. It will be available then for anything. So if you want to do that, please do. And then you click modify. Now your story points will be available for any issue, but that's not it. Okay, so we added, and now you see story points, global, all issues. Let's see if we can actually see that though. This is an important part. So let's go to my project. Let's go to define agile YouTube videos. And then let's create a bug with some story points. So you click on a bug, you click configure fields. As you might see, there are no story points here. If I click where's my field, I put story points. It says the story point field is not represented on the form you're viewing, which means that this is, this is not added to this particular screen. Okay, so how are we gonna solve that? We're gonna go to project settings. We're gonna go to fields. Okay, and then we have a bunch of fields. So we're trying to find story points here. Story points, story points. We got story points, there's no screens. We wanna change that. So, we click edit. We find story points again. Then we click screens. And here's all the screens we can use in it. So, I wanna use it in a bug screen and in a scrum default screen. Those two screens I wanna use it. I click update and let's go back to my project. I just click create issue again. I want to create bug, click configure fields and we have story points. Boom. So now story points are available for us. If we have task, story points are available for task as well. And I think a story points will be even available for you for subtasks. Hope that helps. This is how you can add story points to any screen and uh, enable it to different issue types. So we covered two things uh, in this tutorial. I hope you like it.
please put thumbs up, put your comments. If you want me to help you out, go to defineagile.com. We can schedule a consultation and I can help your business with your Jira needs. It was Anatoly from Define Agile. I appreciate you and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.